What's going on guys, Hobo Handliner here. As you can see, we're back at the forge. I've got a special video for you today, guys. We are making a coworker of mine, a Damascus Bowie knife. Gonna be a pretty awesome build. This is a pre-purchased slab of Damascus that my brother actually gave me. We're gonna be turning it into a really cool knife, our biggest knife build yet. So stick around guys, hope you enjoy this. Also, I got some blacksmithing tongs to try out. So yeah, it's uh, gonna be a good little build and I won't be singeing the hair off of my hands anymore. So if you're interested guys, stick around. See you after that intro, enjoy. All right guys, so as you can see, I've already drawn out the rough profile of the knife onto this slab of Damascus. We're gonna be cutting off most of this excess profile material with the angle grinder, and then we're gonna be hogging off material and making the curves on uh, the old belt sander there. Um, I won't have to plane down any thickness. This thing's about 3 16 thick, perfect thickness already. So really it'll be profiling, drilling hand uh, handle pin holes, thumb jimping, and bevels. That'll be the hardest part is those nice long sweeping bevels with that false edge I'm going to put in it. But um, yeah, let's get to the angle grinder and start uh, roughing this thing in. Since some of you guys commented in the last ones, I'm actually wearing earplugs. All right, guys, we got the rough profile, all the chunks cut out with the angle grinder. Time to start profiling them on this thing and uh, get all everything rounded out and shaped.
Okay guys, so we are skipping way ahead. Got the rough profile done, rough bevels in, drilled uh, the hand hole or the handle holes. Did some cool uh, snake back jimping there. So uh, gonna be heat treating soon. Gonna do some more cleaning up mainly on the bevels though. Make sure they're nice and even. Uh, but yeah, there we go, looking good. Okay guys, we have fast forwarded again. We're ready for the quench. Now, remember this is Damascus, so we're gonna acid etch after everything's said and done. Bring out all those patterns. You're not gonna be able to see them right now because I ground down. I did, I did uh, plane it just a little bit. I had some uneven grinds going on here that I had to clean up and I just basically enforced my hand. Um, but yeah, ready for that quench. Bevels look pretty good. They will obviously be finalized after the quench. Nice and straight. Nice, acute point, cool jimping. Let's get the forge fired up and quench this baby. Now guys, got my can of quenching fluid, my canola oil next to that forge so that it preheats a little bit. That's what you want. Like I've said before, 120 degrees, 130 degree oil. That's perfect stuff. So let's get this thing fired up. I am going to be wearing my gloves and I'm going to be using those tongs. So got a pair of tongs here, keep my hands from getting hurt, and I'm wearing actual leather gloves. Uh, unfortunately I bought regular large size and I need extra large. It's very hard to get my hands in these things. So I will be swapping them out for a pair of extra larges because Man, I got big hands, big meaty claws, like they say in SpongeBob. But uh, yeah, let's get that force fired up and let's go. Into the fire we go.
beautiful quenching color. Make sure we got no warps. Give it the eyeball check. A little bit of a warp in the tang. We're going to have to fix that. Let that cool down in the vise and check it out. All right, guys. The quench actually brought out the pow pattern really crazy. Really cool pattern there. We're ready for the tempering cycle, but as you can see, I don't know if you can tell. A little bit of a warp in that tang. Um, as they say in Force of Fire, though, it's within grinding range. Um, so we'll just have to skim a little bit off this side over that side to make it even. That's fine. Uh, let's check it with a file real quick. It's hard. Hard as glass. Now this is 1095 and 15 and 20. I know I didn't say that in the beginning of the video, but both nice high carbon steels, really commonly used for Damascus. Skates that file. Let's get it in the temper cycle. 350 degrees for, let's say, an hour and a half. All right, guys, we're out of the temper cycle. See how it's got a little bit of a straw color to it? Looks good. Let's let it cool and uh, get that warp out of it by hitting it on the grinder and get this thing finished. All right, guys, got the heat treat scale off of this thing. As you can see, that pattern is showing for a good portion of it. We're gonna dunk it in the acid right now and really get it to pop. Uh, we'll shape the handles after that and put a final edge on this thing and we'll probably call it good. I feel like the Damascus with a heavy acid etch will hide a lot of like grind mark blemishes, etc. So that could be really handy for this build. Okay guys, I got her in the acid bath. The only thing I had big enough was this paint roller tray. I'm gonna leave her in there for probably half an hour at least. It's ferrochloric acid. Uh, yeah, it should get those uh, patterns to really, really pop. It'll look really cool, guys. Okay, guys, so got her out of the ass, and I think you're going to be impressed. Stonewash finish. Look at that pattern, really pops out. Time to start making the handles. I'm going to try to be as careful as I can profiling the handles because I want to do as little shaping once it's bolted or pinned on here as I can because I don't want to chew into the top and bottom of the uh, the tang. I want to leave it the way it is, get as much of that pattern out as you can. I don't want to have a whole lot of clean silver showing except for the edge because this looks really cool and like tactical. So it's on to handle scales guys. guys we got the handles dry fitted with the pins 
Let's get it glued up, final shape this thing, get it sharp, and it's done. It's gonna be killer, guys. All right, guys, here's the final result. Um, not to toot my horn, but I created an absolute thing of beauty here. It is finished. Stone Gray Tactical Damascus Camp Buoy. Got it final sharpened. Could have a little bit of a better edge on it. But it slices paper pretty good. So, Brady, my co-worker. Hope you get good use out of it, brother. That's it, all finished. I'll get you guys a final shot. Snake back jimping, solid oak scales, 1095 and 15 N20 Damascus, clip point false top edge buoy. Get a good tactical grip on it, regular grip, great all around camp knife. Right on guys. Till next time on the Hobo Handliner, I appreciate you watching. I'll get you that final shot.